Blenders are powered by what's called a universal motor. This is a motor which can run on both alternating current and direct current. However, since we're only going to be running it on direct current, we can consider it the same as a direct current motor. So how does it work? Running through the centre of the motor is an armature, and this is an electromagnet which will produce an electromagnetic field. In order to power the armature, there are things called brushes. These allow current to pass through the armature without actually having to be wired. So we'll give power to the brushes. The left brush is connected to this white wire, so I'll put it to power. And this red brush is connected to the right brush, so I'll give it to ground. The next main component of the motor are the field windings. These are electromagnets which will interact with the electromagnetic field of the armature, allowing it to spin. For both field windings, we need to connect one side to power and one side to ground. For this field winding, I've already connected the left side to power, so I'll connect the other side to ground. For the other field winding, you need to do it in reverse. So I'll connect the yellow wire to ground, and the black wire to power. So that's all the wires. Now if I turn it on, it should spin. There you go. So that's the basics of how a universal motor works and how to wire it. Comment down below something I could make which includes this motor and I might make it in a future video. So make sure to subscribe if you want to see that.